With your most accurate forecast, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres. The warming trend continues for your Wednesday, starting off with temperatures this morning around 60 degrees at 8 o'clock. And then we're in the mid-70s by about midday and topping out in the lower 80s this afternoon. So it will be a seasonal forecast for this hump day in the valley. But with the higher sun angle, the UV index is getting higher this time of year, too. It's going to be at 8 today, meaning it's only going to take 15 minutes for you to get sunburn between the hours of 12 and 2. So keep that in mind if you'll be outside. Use plenty of sunscreen. If you'll be outdoors for a prolonged period of time uh, here in the metro with temperatures again climbing into the lower 80s across much of the valley anywhere from 77 though Cave Creek and Anthem. Then you head toward Deer Valley will be at 81 Scottsdale 81 82 and Mesa Tempe and Chandler and in the West Valley will keep those highs in the lower 80s as well from Peoria to Glendale along with Levine. You can just shy of that average high by about a degree, so we'll call it a seasonal Wednesday. Northern Arizona highs today staying in the lower 60s in Flagstaff, so nice little warming trend up in the high country, too. That will not last for long as well. More on that in a moment. And as you hit along the rim, we'll keep the highs today in the 60s from Heber and Cholo, 70s in Globe and Safford, and close to 80 degrees today down in the Old Pueblo. And for the next three days, we are expecting a nice little warming trend for at least today and tomorrow. It'll be breezy on Thursday in the valley with highs just shy of 90 degrees for the first time in 2024. Then by Friday, we cool down with those temperatures at 70 degrees and the chance of rain now picking up at 20%. So going back to tomorrow's forecast again, calling for a high of 89, which if we do hit 90, we'll be close to it. It'd be a little behind schedule. Our average first 90 degree day typically occurs in late March, but then the wind will also pick up tomorrow on a Friday as well. Here in the valley, forecasting gusts around 30 to 35 miles per hour. In the high country, gusts of 50 to even 65 miles per hour. So a high wind event is a potential in the higher terrain beginning tomorrow evening, but especially on Friday as the main storm begins to cross the state, moving in from the west. That will give us those rain chances as well. Uh, beginning as early as Friday, lasting through Saturday, a low Sunday. And then Monday into Tuesday, we have another storm that may impact our forecast. So here's that seven day day by day, 82 today, near 90 tomorrow, and then breezy for Thursday and Friday and cooler as well for the weekend with highs in the upper 60s by Saturday. We're back in the mid 70s by Sunday, and we do return some slight rain chances and breezes by Monday and Tuesday with highs staying in the mid 70s.